ourselves to other people. It's actually like deeply toxic in many ways, even a competitive setting. We all do. Like, as soon as you sit down next to either of these players, you're kind of like, they're all right. Or you play them and you're like, damn, they're pretty good. Yeah. You know, but like, you can't help but, but make that comparison. So. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Like, you're just kind of a people. That's, <laughs> that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just kind of like, uh, we, uh, damn. You, you just, you know, you have an experience with, uh, with like, playing someone, and you're like, oh, that, that person's pretty good, that person's pretty bad. So, I sort of agree, but I think the reason why it's bad, of course, we got a match, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties. Uh-huh. Um, we're back, we're match. back, we're back. But yeah, one of the things I think, basically, is, like, so, let's say you play someone, and you're worse than them. You might think to yourself, oh, they probably think I'm so bad, like, you know, like, I'm playing like shit, you might get like really like self-conscious. Um, and then, the reason you think that is because when you're playing someone who's not that good, you're kind of thinking, this person's not that good, like... And that's what I mean by like, it's an unhealthy thing, it's just like, having that comparison, thinking about that at all, positive or negative, sets up that kind of thinking. So like, if I sit down and like, even when I'm playing someone in a casual match, I'm like, skill checking them and like, seeing how good they are, it's just like, I just do not think it's an emotionally healthy thing to do at all. That, that's my take. And uh, not doing it leads to better happiness outcomes. Yeah, more more, more fulfillment, wholesome vibes. Anyways, we were, it's funny, we were talking about uh, alcohol earlier, mm -hmm. and this is definitely a matchup you would see like like five beds deep. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> well, we were also talking about happiness, and this is definitely a matchup that does not have that in it at all. I would assume. You know, they, well, like a twisted kind of happiness. You these know, these two seem like they're they're having a decent amount of fun. You know, I I, I don't see why not. And and hey, Kumatora, like I was I was talking a lot about Glock earlier. Kumatora, um, pretty good. Like, couldn't it work. Yeah. It, honestly, like I'm. I've been watching the, the movement and everything, and uh, watching the proficiency and like what they're trying to do. This is actually like they're, they're pretty, they're pretty uh, adept with this with this Ness build. I think Ness is on a soft come up lately. Not in the sense I think, so. I think like uh, like not in like a moving the tier list way, but in like a I think people are going getting a bit better. I think there's some more representation. I mean, the biggest one being Kirby Kaze, but even just like. You know, there's some Discord stuff going on, so... Yeah. Uh, that said, I think Ness is awful. But, uh... I think Game & Watch is actually kind of low-key good. Yeah, um... Sorry, I was, uh... I was checking to see if I could say the words Q+. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, that is where Kumatora is from. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so that, that is... That, that is why it is... Un yeah. yeah, that is why it is unsurprising why they're proficient with like Ness because usually like this is like I guess this is winter's quarters in the pools but like yeah usually like this early in pools if you see a Ness you're like eh, you know yeah they're not nobody but yeah, like yeah, you know yeah. they're they're usually typically when you see Ness you're you you do not expect like something very good although there are good Nesses out there but yeah my member as my memory was coming back to me this is in fact a people's Ness uh, which makes a lot of sense. I, I know I already showed this out, but like this is what's really nice about that little seating bit of information because it's like, oh, okay, this is an upset then. Like if, if uh, like I'm I'm familiar with Block My Toyota, but I still wouldn't have seen the like seating discrepancy. Oh, yeah, yeah. The good edge guard so far should just be a uh, Nair. Yeah, there isn't a whole lot of options you can do there. If uh, <laughs> insane. I, I, insane. You know what Glock can do? You can, uh, after the Ness oh, yeah, uses their it. jump, yeah, that should be it. Yeah, that that works forever. Yeah. <laughs> the down throw uh, Nair with uh, Gaming Watch is so, so good. Some some might say it's even better than, like, up throw up air because you can't SDI at it. Like, it's just a straight sorry, up kill. This is why I think, like, Ness sorry, is... Want that. So not Ness, sorry. Uh, Game Watch is, like, low-key good. Not good. But, like, I think, <laughs> hey, you know, like, here's a good example. This is my analysis of why uh, DK has kind of risen. Is that, like, I think in Melee, you know how, like, when you, like, play a game uh, or, like, maybe you're, like, it's most common in video games that have that little, like, is it a Pentagon? Where it, like, have, like, their different, like, skill sets. Like, yeah, attack, yeah, yeah. defense, special, and they're, like, it fills a little graph kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I feel like characters that hit really hard, like, 
10 out of 10 in one area or a couple areas tend to do really well as opposed to like well-rounded 5 out of 10s. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Game & Watch like has a pretty solid punish game at least. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense. Um, whereas, uh, and that's like a huge part of DK's success. So even though he is like as light as Puff and he has uh, just a god-awful shield, he still has some stuff that he can do and like a fantastic recovery. Like there's some really extreme strengths that keep him in there. Yeah, for sure. No, I mean like no no character in this game has absolutely nothing, you know? Like they, they didn't design anyone to have zero options at any time. <laughs> yeah. Which is, you know, good. I I appreciate that. Good good design. Sometimes I mean, look, it is debatable. It's debatable. You know? No, 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 no. And, and like everyone's got something, you oh, know. No, like no, no, no. even Bowser's got like up. He had a shield. You he's know? got forward air as well. He's got forward. Yeah, he's got some. He's got a couple. Moves, his his forward air isn't good, but it's like it's acceptable. Yeah, no, it's it's a, it's solid. Yeah, I'll say that. It's not it's not like amazing, but it's solid. But yeah, no. Um, which is like honestly, like we we in in the modern landscape of fighting games, yes, it's a little like yeah, obviously you shouldn't create a character that's completely like worthless. Some of those old fighting games, man, they're some, they were into some, that. They were, some, that. They were yeah. very into like yeah. making some like non-functioning characters. Like the, the vibe was different back then. It know? was like, it was very different. You'd have like the most like messed up abomination of a character, like. At, in the same game as like someone whose moves just don't have hitboxes properly, you know, like they just don't function. And that was like a very uh, that was a very common thing back in the day. I think part of that is definitely like the ability to DLC and patch things. But I think also it is just like, oh my god, uh, <laughs> that's so, that was so, such that was that was really good aim, really close to getting hit there. I think definitely there's like a an expectation, different balance expectations um, than there there once were. But uh, all that said, I like the Fox pick a lot. I know obviously like if you're an S player, you're gonna have a ton of experience against Fox. Yeah, I know when I played low tiers and maybe like uh, struggled if I played kind of a more non-standard character. Yeah. Uh, certain characters like Fox are just very easy to pick up and play against like a, a janky character and then just do certain good stuff and win. Um, yeah, I mean, like, if you've ever seen someone, like, play a character, you've probably, like, if you've ever seen any, like, e anyone do any type of anything versus a character and they're, like, a mid-tier or a low-tier, they were probably playing against Fox, you know? Or, or like, a Spacey, so yeah. you're like, oh, yeah, you kind of tap into that memory of, like, oh, yeah, th this is, like, a good thing that they do. And, like, you know, you can kind of emulate it with some, some level of proficiency. Unless you're watching like Yoshi, in which case you can't do anything because like yes, he doesn't even jump out of shield. Like what do you do? No, crazy. It's, it's crazy. That's to think wizardry. About, like, <laughs> like we have internalized like probably all of Fox's animations to the point where we're like we can kind of comfortably. I bet if you were to like ask people in like a blind test to like draw his hitboxes and guess when the frames are active, I bet they would do pretty well because you just have so much exposure to this character. Hey, um, that should be like a content piece. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Somebody should do that. Egg dog? There you go. <laughs> Maybe even nouns? Shout outs, by the way. Uh, okay, this is like a weird, wow, just barely not hitting the wall. Yeah, these are very competitive games, I, I will say. This stage, especially with transformations, Incredibly good for Fox. Like, across the board, perhaps his best stage um, with transformations yeah, that on. Do it. Yeah, yeah that, that should do it. Alright. Kumatora. This is a. Uh, I guess the best of five. I didn't even think about that. It's true, the no. whole thing is. Never mind. Best Wait. of five, right? Yeah. No clue. It's, I think it's best of five either way. <laughs> uh, but sorry, no. sorry, I don't mean to put him on blast. Production just goes, no clue. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's where we're at. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, happens to the best of us. Uh, so it is 2-0. Right? It is 2-0 two, it, it uh, for Glock. So the whole uh, ultimate went down, and that includes our server for the overlays. So oh! We're actually not on the internet. We're just locally recording right now. Oh! oh so, sorry. so we're not even streaming. OK, no, cool. Going, well, we, yeah. yeah, sure. All right. Um, Wow. So, to all the people who are watching this VOD, yep. <laughs> hello, you 
you hey, guys, you guys are the chosen number, uh, chosen ones. Buy a lottery ticket. You don't realize just how special you really are right now. Yeah. I guess now I can really talk about PM. <laughs> I can really talk about. It. Yeah. No, this is a. Uh, Kumitar is like a prominent character, like in or a prominent player in PM. So it is really cool to see her reach across the aisle and like. Still play with like a decent amount of proficiency. Someone should show her the tier list and be like, "Hey, I'm not well, sure, well, I'm not okay, sure, okay. I'm not sure if you're aware. Yeah, I, I'm not not sure if you know. Well, because like you know, a, a yeah. mid tier or a low tier in PM is like still decent, you know. But in this game, very have have a lot of yeah. deficiencies. Sure. Also have a uh, you know that's that's got some stuff. You know the the double jump cancels can make a uh, make his timing pretty tricky. You know he's got he's got some combos. Uh, he's stuff, got a stomp stuff. basically. Um, he's got a stomp and a knee, both much worse than Falcons, but yeah. you know still effectively. It's a baby stomp into a baby knee. Yeah, baby know, stomp like, into a baby knee. From like a blunted uh, dull stomp into a dull knee. But. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, no, like <laughs> maybe we show her she and she cooks. Perhaps. <laughs> I mean, the one thing I was thinking about with the PM thing is that, like, you play Game & Watch in that, in that game. Like, you, you're not going to be like, what is this character? Even in a different oh, game. Oh, that's a... I didn't go, even like, think about that oh, angle. Yeah, yeah you know, like, no. Like, okay, this guy again. I mean, honestly, PM is a good example to me. What a crazy edge guard. Yeah, um, yeah. PM is a good example of, like, when people are like, all 26 characters in Melee should be balanced. I'm like, are you sure about that? Have you seen Game & Watch? Like, Dude, is that Game what you yeah. want? You I know, didn't like, even think about that. Game & Watch is an absolute menace in that game. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, playing against, even with a neuter character compared to, like, your, your main game, I'm sure, like, playing against a Game & Watch like this is like, eh, you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's just, like... I think it's important to recognize that, like, it's okay to specialize. You know, like, uh -huh. if you go to, like, an Italian restaurant that also serves sushi, you're not like, that sushi's probably going to be really good. You're probably <laughs> no, like, yeah. don't probably order not. the sushi. What are you doing? You know, like, so same idea here. Like, you don't have to have everything be equally good. Yeah. You know, focus on min-maxing, not min-minning. I don't even know. <laughs> min-minning, yeah. Um, oh, oh my God! Okay, yeah, that that uh that sweet spot's really is, really yeah. hard to, to to handle. Oh, no jump too. This is gonna be a really tough recovery. Oh, oh my God! Somehow makes it even with the bounce. Okay, still alive. Okay. Nair. Yeah, Ness is, Ness has a chance. Oh, back on stage. Oh There's a big chance, honestly. Um, like one good back air is gonna send Game and Watch off stage, and like a few oh, hits. Oh, oh, oh. no. no, no. Okay, isn't gonna make it. That, that's oh, it. but no. goes yeah. high and yeah. gets scared. Gets yeah. scared and uppies super early. Could have just like sweet spotted to ledge. This was about to be a close 3-0. Yeah. And it, it, it has uh, moved into just. Uh, you know what? You know. The, the, the scuff, it's gonna help the P plus player, I'll say it. Yes. I'll say it. They're used to yeah. it. <laughs> they're, they're used to these, uh, these circumstances, these left, less than optimal circumstances. It's true. They ordered the sushi at the place. <laughs> like that, like that. They do that. Yeah, every no, week, they, you know? they, they, they. No, it, it's not that they order the sushi at, at at the at the Italian restaurant. They know like the special. They know the times where like the chef they make a, a really good sushi. Yeah, you know, they're, they're, like, they're, like the California roll is actually still good. Yeah, you don't get anything else. Yeah, no, like, like oh, every other sushi, oh. spe like on, on every other day, pretty bad. Today they got the bus and chef. Exactly. They're cook. They're chefing up the sushi. Perfect. <laughs> Right. So far, um, I'm a little surprised by this pick. I like this. Is, this is uh, yeah. The I, counter pick language is not a language I speak here. You know, I think like, okay. Here's he, here's what I think. This is my thought process. Um, first of all, you know, like as we know, Game and Watch has like strong uh, follow ups off of grabs. Automatically has an air basically. Um, also, Ness doesn't have platforms to like be tricky with yeah. their movement and like move around with yeah. double jump. So you kind, he's kind of forced to just like be a lot more linear in like the in the directions that he's able to attack from. You know, so uh, so like that, that. I think that's kind of my uh, thought process. It's and I don't think Ness weaker rather than making uh, Game Watch stronger. Is yeah, I don't. I don't necessarily think the stage like lends itself to like getting more kills. It's just more opportunities to get openings. And uh, kind of neutering uh, Ness's options as well. I don't think the kill potential like changes much though. I just I'm, I'm still thinking about the sentence neutering Ness. It's just like I it's I, I it felt it didn't feel good coming he, he, he out, is but like, I was already it was already too late. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's, it's, it's out there. It's you out can, there now. You can neuter Game of Watch. I don't know what the hell's going yeah. on down there, but you know, <laughs> like 
No, that's a mister, man. He's, yeah. he's got a wife, and probably. He's, there's a miss. Is there a misses or miss? I think it's miss. I feel like there's a miss game and watch. I don't know if there's a Mrs. Game & Watch. They might not be married. All I know... Pac-Man is a is profoundly not. even game. This is... Uh, oh my god, is, the hang! This, this is very close. A, a surprisingly good set overall. Yeah. Um, despite, like, on paper... Actually, I, I love... like So I casted um, HBox versus STJ at Gommel. Yeah. And that was like a puff ditto that was surprisingly hype. And I love that was crazy. That yeah. was a crazy one, yeah. And I love when a matchup is like on paper it shouldn't be interesting. And yet like it's pretty interesting. I think we got the perfect cocktail. Because we have a PM player who is used to these like weird matchups. And then we have a mid-tier player who is usually the one that has um usually the one that has like the advantage in matchup oh. knowledge. Oh. oh where it's like if you play oh. a oh Oh my God, those follow-ups are crazy. Okay. But like, if you if you play Game and Watch or any mid tier, and you play, you usually you're used to playing the Foxes, the Falcos, the Mars, the Sheiks, the this, the that, you know, like, and you're always on the on the front foot of like they don't know what I'm doing more than I know what they're doing, you know. But with Ness, it's like I don't think Block really knows what Ness does, and I don't know if I'm remiss to say I don't know if he's ever played a Ness as good as Kumatora, you know. So that's definitely a very valid question. Yeah, yeah. but. Kumatora has played a much stronger version of this character. You know, okay. like world class. Yeah, that was a. I, I like the weight on there, um, but uh, unfortunately, recovery is just not good enough. I think this is the moment where uh, you could start to really run away with it. Yeah. Um, but that said, one of the things I've noticed, obviously FD really amplifies this, but when Kumatora has center, uh, the control is, is quite solid. Yeah, and I've been able to get like a lot off of that. But I, I saw it on the on another stock. They did like a forward air into like an up air. Yeah. And it just worked and it killed. And I was like, that's crazy. I did not know that was a thing on Game & Watch. Like maybe it's just a Game & Watch thing. I don't know. Or like maybe like a super like, like character thing. Yeah, well, definitely Game & Watch is weight. The, the, the rule of thumb for me is always, like, what works on Puff will usually work on Game & Watch. Yeah, so I mean, I've never seen it on Puff either, so. Yeah, so that, that's a very good point. So. Yeah. <laughs> Just haven't right. seen a whole lot of Ness in this game. <laughs> no. But, uh... Yeah, this is uh, winding yeah, down, yeah. That fo that first forward air took the jump. It's, it's just good. Yeah. All right, and the hometown hero takes out the mighty yeah. Ness. Honestly, really good Ness. Like, I, I very, very, very solid. That was, that was 